Hello, it's Chocolate Girl TV back with another video. And I want to talk about um, Kwame Brown getting arrested. Um, I want to give my thoughts on it. Um, he explained the situation. I can tell he was real hurt about it. He said, he say, I don't know her side, that she's a bit of baby mama. She can't let go and rambling through his stuff. And she found out that he had, had another child. Or whatever he claimed he bought this girl this and that put the kids in private school and when he tried to go to the school and eat lunch with one of his baby girls or whatever you know he get turned away or they got to call her and she don't answer the phone they're taking the kids back in there well you know you got some baby mamas can be like that all of them ain't like that but he did mention some or whatever because i know some that's like that and stuff if you got a man that you don't want to spend ch time with their child, let them. You know, let them. Let them spend time with their child. Just because you and him having problems or whatever, don't involve the child. Because like he said, that is hurting the child. And, and, you know, it just, I love to see a man spend time with their kids and stuff. That just does something to me and stuff. But um, when he said that, you know, he didn't wash his hands and he done, but she will get her child support every month, I'm like, whoa. I said, to God, is that serious? Well, you know, he just, you know, washing his hands with the kids, which I know he don't want to, but, you know, sometimes you have to do that. Just make sure you just pay your child support but you won't go to jail and stuff. Sometimes you got to do that. And then in the long run, them kids and stuff, they're going to come to you because right now she's hurting the kids. Them kids will come to you or whatever and stuff. I know it's hurting him and he, you know, he don't want to do it, but... You know, just to keep from spending that money uptown to the courthouse to them white folks or whatever. You know, just pay your child support and, you know, just be done with it or whatever. But, you know, karma is a bitch and stuff. I hate to see women like that and stuff that um, try to keep the child away from their dad and stuff. I hate, you know, he seems like he's a good dad or whatever. You know, uh, you know, that's what it seems like to me. Because I just seen pictures and stuff, videos and stuff on his Instagram with kids. And they at the pool sliding off the sliding board and stuff. So, you know, I do hate that for him. And then on top of that, he said his house was vandalized. And, you know, he, the baby mama put somebody up to do it, allegedly. I think that's what he said. And stuff. I said, this stuff is just getting crazy. So I said, Kwame, I'm already going through enough on these YouTube streets or whatever. And then, you know, you're going through this baby mama drama stuff. So, yeah, that's, um, you got some women that can be trifling and messy like that. Me, on the other hand, my kids or whatever, they father, you know, he choose not to be around them. And, you know, that's fine. It used to bother me, but that's fine. You with what you sow. Or whatever you do, you with what you sow. Because we, uh, we ain't getting no uh, younger. We getting older. And uh, he's getting on up there in age or whatever. And it did used to bother me all the time. You know, he have all his other kids and stuff. It wouldn't be, you know, he wouldn't associate with mine. And stuff that used to just bother me or whatever. So, you know, it just is what it is. My kids growing up and stuff and they see that or whatever. He going to need them for something. He really are. He going to need them for something. You never know where your last cup of water going to come from and stuff. We got trifling baby mamas. We got trifling baby daddies because I have a trifling one. But, um, yeah, but, um, yeah, I just feel bad for Kwame because he was like, I'm just washing my hands with this. I'm just, you will get your child support every month. That's that's all you got to do. Just pay your child support or whatever, just to keep, you know, keep the police off your back or whatever. And I know you hurting or whatever, but, you know, sooner or later, whatever, them girls is growing up, they going to see or whatever, they going to come to you. Yeah, they're going to come to you. I hope they got his number. I hope they keep in touch with him. But being how he said how messy and this baby mama is, she probably won't even let them girls call him. But then I do know he said he had one that's going to be 21, and she didn't fool with him at all. So I just wonder what was up with that, why she don't talk to him. I don't know if the mama, you know, could have turned her against him, allegedly. I don't know. It's just a story behind that. I wish he would talk about that. Probably, he probably will, he probably won't, but, um, yeah, that whole situation is just crazy with Kwame Brown 
And then um, you got the haters talking. Well, you know, he should have been using the condom. Or it was some kind of panel going on. Everybody was talking about it. It was some girl that was down in him. And so I said, these haters, I said, it's just crazy. I said, how they just sit there, black folks. The, the ones that go around hating on one another, we should be, you know, standing against, standing together and helping one another instead of just hating. But that's black people. That's some black people for you and stuff. Anything to put him down. But I'm glad that he put it out there that he went to jail because if one of the haters would have got hold of the story, it would have just been spinned all around, you know, and put added lies to it. So he knew what he was doing because he knew he got haters or whatever. So I'm just glad I'm glad he went ahead and just put that out there. I'm glad he put it out there. And then you got the haters adding they adding they two cent to it and spending it how they want to spend it and stuff. But yeah, that's these haters is crazy in these YouTube streets. They're really hard. I just be looking at the comment section and I said, these people got pure hate and they hard. And then when you come and ask why do you don't like him, they can't even tell you why they don't like him. They like they dislike him for no apparent reason. And that's just crazy. They can't tell you why they can't they can't tell you why they don't like him. I just don't like him. He's a fraud. How is he a fraud? Or whatever. Fraud and people super chat all because of super chats. Like I said in my other videos, it's super chats or whatever. Like I said, I ain't seen not one video where he asked people to send him super chats. But hell, if it was me, and I didn't say it once and I said it again, if it was me, had a large platform like him, they sent me super chats, hell, I'm going to take it too. Or whatever. I'm going to take it. So, yeah, just that these haters, this one particular one, uh, his whole YouTube, 90% of his YouTube is Kwame Brown. At first, he wouldn't get no views or whatever. But I understand, you know, you stick to a hot topic because, you know, Kwame is hot in these YouTube streets. And that's how you get views. So, everybody would say, I get views too from this. I'm just starting my YouTube channel. It is what it is. I'm not saying nothing negative. Well, I don't dislike him at all. I like the message he put out there. But like I say, he do curse a lot. I said that many a times. He do curse a lot and stuff. So... And he should have more subs than what he got. I really do believe. I've seen another YouTuber say they were messing with his subs. I really do believe they're messing with his numbers. I really do. Because he should have more than what he have. And stuff. So. I just hope he get it together. I, I hate to hear the baby mama going through that. But he said they've been going through that. She didn't been had him locked up before. And stuff. You know, people like that, you just need to just leave it alone. And you go, you know, just stay away from, uh, avoid her. Well, he did say he couldn't be in the same room with her. So that's when I know it was bad. And that's how it is with me and my kids did. It. I can't be in the same room with him. I don't want to be in the same room with him. If I see him somewhere, I will leave. If he's somewhere where I'm at, I will leave. That's how it is. And stuff, so. And yeah, I really do hope Kwame get it together. And I hate that he's going through that. Because kids are innocent in this situation. They are very innocent. And stuff, and I am like I said before. I'm glad he put it out there. I'm glad the haters didn't get a hold to it, or what it They would have got a hold to a who? Yeah, no telling. But yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm getting ready to end this video. But that's all I want to talk about. Like, share, and describe. Thank you.